Hi, everybody. Uh, I just want to give you an update as to what's going on at Fellowship of Faith over the next few weeks. Uh, as you've probably guessed, we are not going to be meeting this Sunday or any Sunday in the near future uh, here on our campus at 10 a.m. Uh, the band will still be here. The tech team will still be here. I'll still be here uh, and uh, we'll still do a service, but we'll do it to an empty room. I guess if uh, WWE can do it, we can do it. And uh, you can still catch that on face, uh, Facebook Live at 10 o'clock. That's just like we normally do. Uh, but also, as always, it will also be available uh, later on Facebook, also on YouTube and through the app. And unlike previous uh, months, uh, this series actually is going to have the entire service on the app instead of just the message. Uh, we're going to do that for a little while, too, also. Um, also, we're going to do some things uh, a little bit differently because we can't meet uh, physically. Uh, you're going to probably be getting some phone calls and texts from different leaders over the next few weeks trying to kind of uh, make sure everybody's doing okay, uh, minister to you, uh, take prayer requests, do those kinds of things, but also... Uh, we're going to try to do some uh, video uh, viewing parties, which you can do through Facebook and through uh, YouTube and some other things. And uh, we're going to encourage you to uh, get together, uh, do some video conferencing using an app called Zoom. Uh, if you followed uh, what our middle school kids have been doing on uh, Tuesday nights with Joe and Amber Shank, they used it as a virtual meeting last uh, week. Uh, we're going to continue to try to do that, utilize it for Wednesday nights and some other uh, different studies, but also just uh, find ways for you to be face-to-face, -face, even if you can't actually be face-to-face. Uh, -face. So uh, just stay aware of that. Uh, if you're someone who really wants to see a community build and you've got some ideas for how we can do that, please don't uh, hesitate to let me know. Um, also, last couple things. First, I want to remind you that even though our bills um, or even though we're not meeting, our bills continue. And so I've been asked to remind you that you can do your regular giving uh, through the app, uh, Fellowship of Faith app, or uh, you can actually send that to us uh, by mail. Uh, send it to P.O. Box 230, Rio Grande, Ohio, 45674. That's P.O. Box 230, Rio Grande, Ohio, uh, 45674. And, and for some reason, that always makes me feel like a televangelist doing that. Um, just keep those cards and letters coming. But um, also, I just want to finally remind you uh, that we are not stopping uh, serving our community during this time. And uh, there are 11 students at Rio Grande uh, University who uh, can't go home uh, because they're international students. Uh, they also don't have a cafeteria right now because the campus is closed down. And so next week we are going to be feeding them. Uh, on, uh, for dinner. And uh, we've got a meal train set up that you can log on there and you can actually um, uh, sign up to feed them. You can also give uh, on the app. There's a link on the app that will allow you to give money that way. Uh, we're not actually hosting it or anything like that. We're just dropping the food off for them at the president's house uh, on 325 on campus. And uh, they're taking care of eating and all that kind of stuff. We're not typically the way we would like to do things, but it is a way that we can continue to serve them. So I just encourage you over the next uh, few weeks, we don't know how things are going to pan out. We don't know what's happening in so many different ways, but um, I would encourage you to continue to uh, reach toward uh, heaven, continue to uh, try to find ways to grow in your faith, uh, continue to reach out to each other, uh, reach into each other to the community of faith here uh, so that you can grow in your relationships and then also continue to find ways to serve those outside the community who don't know Jesus, so that when all this is said and done, we can come out of this as a stronger community of faith. We can come out here, come out of here with new people uh, walking with Christ, and uh, we can just see amazing things happen, even in the midst or uh, of, of something that is unprecedented for many of us. So uh, let me know if you need anything, and uh, we hope to, uh, I won't see you, but you will hopefully see me in the next few weeks. All right, thank you. Goodbye.